You're listening to a brief excerpt from the Future of Provider Data Exchange, addressing directories, outreach, contracting, and network adequacy through technology, sponsored by LexisNexis Risk Solutions, with Dara Price Olson, Senior Director, Market Planning, and Harry Chitarulu, Software Engineering, LexisNexis Risk Solutions. This webinar discusses the promise and use of new technologies like machine learning, APIs, and blockchain to facilitate the exchange of sharing provider information. Great. Thank you, Claire. And thank you very much, the participants, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. As Claire kind of outlined, today we're really going to be discussing several technologies, both those that are newer and those that have existed for a while, and really how they're being applied to provider data. I'm sure you've all been hearing a lot of buzzwords, and this webinar today is meant to help you understand really two things, what those technology concepts, technologies and concepts are, and how they're being or could be applied to provider data specifically. So for this group, we didn't want to go too deep into technical details, but because some of the latest technologies require um, more explanation, I'll be covering the basic concepts and um, Hari from our engineering organization will be speaking to some of the newer, more technical concepts. But again, this is all meant to be in layman's terms and geared more toward a business audience rather than being a technical deep dive. So, so we think provider data fits in very well with blockchain technology um, we think because of the following reasons. So data protection regulations. So provider data being publicly available and is not personal in nature, that is not PII or PHI, um, would not have the concerns with regulations like GDPR, uh, a regulation passed in Europe that, for example, requires the ability for an individual to request a uh, right to be forgotten. So you wouldn't have to worry about those kind of regulations when it comes to provider data. Um, large number of contributors, so providers, payers, uh, data aggregators like LexisNexis, we all could initiate data change transactions on blockchain network. Um, large number of consumers, so payers for provider directories, claims processing systems, uh, eligible verification systems, so there are many different um, you, you know, consumers for this data. Data governance, so data governance is still required even though we're using blockchain technology. That in itself is not going to solve that problem. So provider data change transactions need data governance from industry leading provider data aggregators like LexisNexis and our master pro provider referential data to ensure that high quality of provider data resides in the blockchain's ledger. Uh, transaction volumes. So number of transactions on provider directory space would fit in easily with the today's blockchain uh, technology and its scalability. Example, we would be measuring transactions per day when it comes to um, provider data changes versus transactions per second, say, in Bitcoin or Ethereum. So lastly, um, we are involved in several pilots in the industry, and, and, and we're exploring other uh, partnership opportunities so to see where the blockchain technology is, can be applied in, in the healthcare industry. You've been listening to a brief excerpt from the Future of Provider Data Exchange, addressing directories, outreach, contracting, and network adequacy through technology. Sponsored by LexisNexis Risk Solutions. Recorded on August 15, 2018. The full interactive webinar with audience polling and Q&A discussions explores the myths and truths associated with emerging technologies, how these technologies are being applied to provider data specifically, and how they may address the provider data exchange and maintenance challenges we're experiencing today. You'll want to be sure to watch the full one-hour webinar video. To do so, use the link to the full video which also appears now on your screen. Thanks again for previewing this session, and we do hope you will join us for the full one-hour video using the link provided.